death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, sparking a political showdown over who will fill her seat. Cowan out with a new note today saying the fight could mean bad news for financials and housing in particular. For more, let's bring in the analyst behind that note, Jared Seberg. Jared, thanks for joining us. I assume this has to do with, with the stimulus, which a lot of analysts like yourself are saying now there's, there's even fewer odds that they can pass a stimulus because they have the Supreme Court fight. I, I, how, how, many, yeah, yeah. how much do I mean, people expect think them to of this pass the stimulus twofold. before I mean, the one, election to begin with? The stimulus with? is going to provide relief that consumers need, the commercial real estate market needs it, and small businesses need it. But even more broadly, we could just use a little calm and stability in the news cycle. Banks do really well uh, when things are, are not quite this crazy. We already have an election going on. We have a COVID-19 crisis going on. And now we're going to have a constitutional battle over the Supreme Court. Uh, you know, it's just a lot for, um, I think, the banks to really be able to plan and thrive in. So, so is that the only sector that you're focused on is suffering because of uh, this uh, Supreme Court battle? So uh, I'm sure we'll spread elsewhere. My focus is financials and housing. We at Cowan, uh, we have a policy team in D.C. We cover all the sectors. Certainly, this is an enormous impact on health care that my colleague Rick Weisenstein follows, uh, given the future of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, there's also a big impact on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, as they have a huge case uh, also pending before the Supreme Court right now. Uh, so this uh, vacancy and who gets to fill it uh, is going to have significance. Yeah, we'll hit the health care stocks in just a moment with, with Bertha. What about the increased chances of a government shutdown now that House Speaker Pelosi has sent this stopgap bill today without the sign-off from Republicans. Yeah, I know. I mean, talk about, uh, you know, the, the last shoe that you really need to drop. Now we're talking about a government shutdown. Our view is still that they are going to cut a deal. It's just really hard to believe we're going to get beyond September 30th. Uh, it does seem like everyone will blink at the last minute. We're not really expecting this first deal uh, to include a lot of uh, Christmas ornaments, you know, unrelated bills uh, that get attached. That probably comes in December when they try to fund the government for the rest of the year. Jarrett, thanks for joining us. Pleasure.